putting North Dakota first. One in four children in America grow up without learning how to read, and that's according to a federal study. To make sure students are not included in that statistic, the McKenzie County School District is finding new ways to improve literacy. And as P.J. Walker reports, they now have more than two million ways to keep their kids reading. Kids come in at all different stages and levels within the um, in their reading abilities. Nicole Brew is a second grade teacher at Wofford City Elementary School. She says over the years, the school district has focused on implementing reading programs, but now it's time to tackle the other side of literacy. That writing component, which we um, have identified internally as an area we would like to grow in. And I think um, I'm hoping that next year that'll be able to be a focus that we can move on to. And now with a new grant, they can. The intent is to really boost our literacy and provide us with some of the resources that we may not have had in the past. McKenzie County Public Schools is the recipient of a $2 million literacy grant. Over the next five years, the school district will be given funds to help meet the needs of all their students and enhance their reading and writing skills. One of the big pieces we're excited about is we were able to hire um, literacy coaches that will focus specifically on literacy in our classrooms. One coach will work with kindergarten through fifth graders and the other will help students in sixth through twelfth. Along with the coaches, the Consolidated Literacy Development Grant will allow the district to hire an instruction and learning director. We can afford now to get a literacy audit done of our buildings. So then they will identify areas that we're really strong in and areas that they feel we can improve in. Superintendent Steve Holen says the oil boom has brought many students from all different backgrounds. Now with these funds, they can cater to them all, making sure they're all on the same page. P.J. Walker, KX News. The McKenzie County School Board voted to approve the hiring of those three new positions. Dr. Holland says they hope to have them filled by the beginning of the school year. And keep it here when we return. Now some very deserved.